Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Today we're taking a look at what Windows users need to know before you jump ship to Linux and leave Windows behind. Now, quite a few people have left Windows and they've moved over to Linux. And I'm going to give you some of the things to watch out for before you make that uh, final leap. So let's talk about number one first, which is Windows is not like Linux or Linux is not like Windows, whatever way you want to put it. They are two completely different operating systems and they work in a different way. So if you're looking for a, an operating system in Linux or a distro in Linux that is going to look and feel like Windows, then you might be mistaken and jump ship to an operating system that you think is going to act and feel like Windows when really it's nothing like Windows whatsoever. You are going to need to learn a completely different new operating system because it doesn't work in the same way as Windows does. That is the first uh, thing that you need to understand. Okay, let's move on to number two, which is programs. A lot of the programs that you're used to using on Windows are just not going to work on Linux, and that's just the way it is. Now, there is workarounds where you can use Wine and things like that or virtual machines to get things working inside Linux. But again, if you're already thinking about ways to get that working on Linux, then maybe don't jump to Linux in the first place. That's my opinion. Uh, Linux has come on leaps and bounds over the years, uh, but some, some programs like Adobe products just cannot be installed in that way. You can use the cloud-based uh, versions, which are having to go through Wine and things like that. But if you're looking for installing programs, it's not going to work the way it does on Windows. So you have to jump through a bunch of hoops to get it to work. Now, that doesn't mean that there isn't alternatives out there which are pretty good, like GIMP and LibreOffice. If you're using these applications, then these are not industry standard applications, which means a lot of companies are not hiring uh, GIMP specialists. They're in hiring people that are trained in Photoshop and other Adobe products. So bear that in mind if you're putting all your time and energy into learning something like that and expecting it to carry you somewhere in the IT world because it's just not. Okay, so let's talk about the next one, which is hardware. So Windows is blessed with having lots of support for all different types of hardware. The manufacturers that create that hardware release drivers for that hardware and then release it to all the Windows users. Now, unfortunately, because Linux is Linux, they don't get that privilege. And sometimes some hardware manufacturers just don't release uh, the drivers for a Linux uh, operating system. And that can be a bit problematic. That means it might not work correctly. Now, there might be a workaround that you can find online to get it working. But unfortunately, uh, Linux is not the problem here. It's the hardware manufacturers that release this hardware that don't release drivers for that particular hardware. And it just doesn't work. Moving on to number four, and that is things will break on Linux just like any other OS. As much as all of these Linux fanboys will tell you in the comments section, just use Linux. It does break and you're going to have to be patient and learn how to fix things because you may get a piece of hardware that's not working correctly or there might be some other little issue with it or you just may have a major problem with it. It's going to break at some point and it just does like every other operating system. So the only thing I can say is use their website, use their community because it is community based and you can try to get some help there. Uh, but you might not find it as helpful as what you would get on the Windows side of things. There's a lot of people that use Windows compared to Linux, and it just seems to be a lot more uh, answers out there to fix a lot of problems compared to what Linux is. And what I found is the Linux users are quite arrogant and this pushes people away from the platform. In my opinion, they have this elitist attitude and this is normally coming from recent uh, converts from Windows to Linux. And you generally get a lot of bad behavior in comment sections of YouTube videos of Windows videos and things like that. And I think they think that they are special and now they're drawing people to Linux by being like that, when really you're just pushing people away. Now, also the way you install your applications in the package manager here, you can go and open this up and open up the command center here and basically download the applications straight onto the system. You can see here, there's a big list of them here. You can do a search, you can have, and you can search by all, or you can search for must have apps or 
bot apps and you can search for these and just click on install and it will go off and download these and install them onto the actual operating system which is a really nice feature for Linux. So this is a different experience compared to what you're going to get on Windows. The same thing can be said for updates for the operating system as well. Now, these can all also be downloaded in the terminal as well. Uh, but basically, this makes it a lot easier for installing applications. Now, moving on to the next biggest question, which is going to be gaming. Can it replace your Windows-based system to play all your favorite games without any problems at all? And the short answer to that is no, it can't. But they have come on leaps and bounds, and you can play games on Linux. And over 80% of games can be played on Linux, apparently, according to their stats. And, uh, you know, in my personal opinion, if you're looking for a operating system to replace a Windows gaming system, then don't bother replacing it with Linux because it's not quite there yet. And you might get the odd issue with your particular uh, system. You can see here some people are having issues and some people are putting the thumbs up and saying they're having no problems whatsoever. So, again, uh, the sort of jury's out a little bit on the gaming front. I think it has come on quite a lot, uh, but will it? be a trouble-free experience for you probably not and uh you know if you're looking for a system to replace windows altogether or an out and out gaming system then the answer to that is probably not just yet now the problem is not with linux it's to do with say anti-cheats and other things like that that are causing problems uh, with some games so bear that in mind if you're looking for trouble-free gaming on every single game on the platform then you're not going to get it uh, that's not to bash Linux in any way, shape or form, because I think it's come on quite a lot uh, on the gaming side of things, but it's just not there just yet for replacing Windows as an out and out gaming system, in my personal opinion. So let me finish off by just saying this with these uh, couple of simple things to remember before you make the change. If there is any type of software or game that you need to play and or you need to use, for any particular reason and you can't drop it and it's not on Linux, then don't switch because you are going to be very disappointed and you are not going to be able to adapt. You have to learn to adapt to Linux operating system and you have to learn to adapt with the software that's available on there. And there is tons of software on Linux and you're just going to have to get used to a different operating system and the way it works. It's that simple. The other thing that you're going to have to learn is patience and time to learn this new operating system because it's not like Windows whatsoever and you will need to start learning new things. And if you're one of these people that don't have the patience and you don't want to learn new software and new things about a new operating system, then maybe Linux is not for you. You just have to accept the fact that it's going to be a process and it's going to take time to get comfortable with this new operating system and the software that this operating system has to offer. And you can't keep comparing it with Windows because it's not the same. So all you need to do now is choose the distro of your choice and use it. And there's plenty of them to choose from, believe you me. And again, if you start looking online, what is the best distro to use? You're going to see a lot of conflicting information, which will confuse you. Just choose the one you like the look of and go with it and start using it. It's that simple. It's completely free, and uh, again, you can install it on your system. And if you don't like it, you can always go back to Windows, or you can choose another flavor of uh, Linux. There's plenty of them to choose from. If you have any other questions online, you can always jump in the Discord uh, server and ask some questions on there, or leave a comment down below. There might be some Linux people down there that will be happy to answer your questions. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.